is a little demonstration of a problem that I'm having with this Thunderbolt 3 dock from OWC. And I don't think the problem is with the dock itself. I think that the problem is with macOS High Sierra because I didn't have this problem until I updated to macOS High Sierra. I think that it may have broken something in this connection here, in this mini display port, because prior to the update, I used to be able to use it with no problem. Um, all I had to do was just press the space bar and wake up the computer, and it worked wonderfully. I had this setting underneath the monitor and it was working great. Then I updated to macOS High Sierra and now the monitor doesn't go on when I wake it up. So what I've been doing to troubleshoot is, and let me just demonstrate this, so the way that it's supposed to work is this one cable here, this one Thunderbolt 3 cable is supposed to be one cable to rule them all. And uh, you plug it into here or here. I like to use the top port because I think that's the most high powered one. And it's supposed to charge the computer like it does and then it's supposed to switch and then turn the monitor on and it does and it works beautifully and occasionally what will happen is this will be really stretched out and it looks really crappy but I've I think I've gotten that kink worked out so it's been pretty consistent about it working now Notice I have a file in the upper right hand corner that's going to come into play in a little bit here. So it's selected. I discovered this accidentally while I was monkeying around with this. So now I'm going to demonstrate for you the way that it's supposed to work is I'm supposed to be able to go up here or on the other menu bar and select sleep. And the first display went black and then this display goes black and it goes into energy saving mode and it says the model of the monitor it's like a, it's a dell sh something or other then i'm supposed to be able to come back to the computer and just press the space bar to wake it up and what will happen is it will wake up this monitor first might not have left it goes to sleep long enough no neither okay there it goes so that monitor wakes up and then normally what was happening was this monitor was then waking up within a couple of seconds. I mean it was pretty flawless, it was pretty great. But now as you can see, it no longer works. So unless I leave this out and accessible, and like I said before when it was working before I had updated the operating system, I had this underneath the platform and it was it was a beautiful setup. I had all this like extra space and all I had to do was I was able to access these two ports because everything on the back here was pretty much stuff that just was going to stay in. Now I have everything else unplugged because I'm troubleshooting, but all I had to do was access these ports and that's all I needed and it was great. And then I updated and now it's not so great. So what I've had to do is either unplug this and plug it back in, which I don't want to do because I normally have a whole bunch of drives plugged in back here and I don't want to have to eject them or get the nastogram telling me that I didn't eject properly or I unplug this, but again, I'd have to leave it accessible. Now you see, I'm not gonna show you exactly what that says because it's a bank statement of some sort, but um, that comes up because there's still, I can move my, my cursor from here over to here. Now it's not gonna work because I unplugged this, but um, that, dis that display port is connected to this monitor. I plug that back in. I don't want to have to keep doing that though. Now that went black. And now you can see that the desktop changed. So now this comes back on. Okay, so there's my statement. But now as you can see, it's all stretched. And I want to close that. But now you can see it's all stretched out. And then that's what happened. So I thought that I had that fixed, but I don't. So now it's all stretched out. And I don't like that. So what I've done to fix that is I've tried changing different ports here. I've tried changing different points, ports here. So if I unplug this, now it's not being charged anymore and it goes, it switches the desktop. 
and then I plug this back in. Now if I switch ports here, see I can plug it into the second one here, but I don't think it's as high powered as the top one. So I'll try a different port and see if this wakes up now. So that one dark, which probably means that now this one's going to try to wake up. Now this one should be the purple one. There it is. But it's still stretched. It's still stretched. Yuck, yuck, yuck. So lots of fiddling back and forth, plugging in things, unplugging in things. Eventually it will go back to the proper resolution and I'll be happy, but then as soon as it goes to sleep, it's like there's no connection between the MacBook Pro and it's a MacBook Pro 2016 touch bar. It loses the connection between the MacBook Pro to this port on the Thunderbolt 3 dock. So I think it's a problem with Mac OS High Sierra. Again, I don't think it's a problem with the dock per se, unless there's a driver or something that I'm missing, but I didn't have to install a driver and it worked. It worked fine before. And it would be nice if they put out another, and this, oh, I should mention this was the supplemental update that I also installed. Still didn't fix the problem. If they, up, if they issue a, a supplement to the supplemental, maybe that would fix it, but I don't know. So until then, I am going to switch back to HDMI because that will work if I plug that up in there and then I use this. I can use this in this port here, or I can use this in one of the ports on my MacBook Pro, and then it will wake from sleep without a problem. But then I lose a port. <laughs> so, again, first world problem, but it worked before, and now it doesn't. And now I have to change my ports around. I have to change all my cables around. I have to lift this and move that around. I have to do a lot of recon like physical hardware reconfiguration, all because I updated to Mac OS, Mac OS High Sierra. And that has me frustrated, so I have a workaround for the time being, but it's not the workaround I'd like to have. I want to be able to use my mini display port port once again. Then I'd be happy if it woke from sleep. All would be wonderful. So I will wait until they issue a supplement to the supplemental or just another point update and maybe that will fix it.